Hi, it's Heather, and today's class is a full body yoga flow. We will be working the core, twisting, opening the hips, all of the good things. Before we get started, please take a brief moment to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps to support free yoga here on YouTube, plus you'll receive new free yoga classes here each week. And when you're ready, I'll meet you in a seated position. So come to meet me in a seated position. Let's actually all bring the soles of our feet together. Take the left hand, place it on your heart, the right hand, place it on your stomach. And let's just take a moment to maybe soften the gaze or close the eyes here. Just taking a brief second to fully bring ourselves to the mat today. So wherever you're at, join me here. Start to bring your attention to your breath. Bringing 100% of yourself here today and leaving everything else off of the mat. I believe that Every trip to the mat should be treated as a retreat, whether it's a full body flow or a slow stretch. May your heart and your breath guide you in your practice today. Slowly blink the eyes open. And let's get started. Take your head and tilt it to the right. And you can even take your right hand, place it on the left ear for a gentle stretch. No need to pull, just gentle here. And release, let's switch, go to the other side. Tilting your head to the left and using your left hand, maybe to place it on your right ear. Gently release. Let's do a few shoulder rolls. So inhale, bringing the shoulders up high. Exhale, bringing them down your back. Couple more. And switch directions. Great. Let's take the insides or our thumbs to the insides of our soles. Bring the elbows out wide and just lean forward. Slowly press yourself back up, and I'll meet you in a tabletop position. So fingers spread out wide, shoulder width apart, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and let's all uncurl the toes for, for today, <laughs> for this set. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round. Inhale, open up the chest. And exhale, chin in, back of the neck long. Inhale, one more, and exhale, round. Now inhale, drop the stomach. And on this exhale, let's round our back the same, bring the chin in, and lift up the knees to hover. Just a little bit off of the ground. Inhale, drop the knees, come back to this cow position, dropping the stomach. 
and exhale, round the back, protract the shoulders, lift the knees. One more, inhale, open up through the heart. Exhale, round the back, lift the knees. Gently drop the knees. Come to a neutral tabletop first. And then take your right leg back, point the toes. Try to keep the hips stable here and inhale. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest, round the back, just like that cat position. Inhale, bring it back, foot out behind you. Exhale, knee to chest. One more, inhale, foot comes back, and exhale, round. Knee to chest. Flex through the foot. Try to step it through right in between your hands and come to a low lunge with me. Inhale, lift both hands up first. And then exhale, bring them to a 90 degree angle out in front of you. Right arms going to come right underneath the left. Hands, uh, back of the hands together and just lift up the elbows a little bit. Very strong here. Gently release, both hands come out to either side. Slight bend, back bend, look up, and come back down. Fingertips to the floor, shift the hips back to half split. Straightening through the front leg, flexing the front foot, trying to keep the hips as square as possible in this position. I find mine love to shift here. Exhale. Maybe bring the chest down a little, if that suits you. And then come back up, bend through that front knee again. Plant both palms. Bring this back leg back, shift forward. Mini chaturanga, <laughs> bringing the belly to the floor. Come up for baby cobra, lift up the chest, shoulders back. Exhale, float it down and lift up the hips. Press yourself back up to that tabletop position. Now inhale, take the left leg back, point the toes. Let's take it to the other side. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest, squeeze. Inhale, bring it back out behind you. Inhale, knee to chest, protract those shoulders, really push up. Inhale, back. Last time, knee to chest, squeeze. Flex through that foot, step it through. Inhale, both hands come up to the sky, low lunge. And then out in front of you. Bring the left hand and arm to come underneath the right. Gently lift the elbows up. Stay strong in the legs here too. And then release. Open up the heart. Slightly look up. And calm down. Fingertips to the floor. Shift the hips back. Straighten through the front leg. Flex the front foot. If you ever need to take a break during these flows, feel free to do so because we're gonna keep moving here. Inhale and exhale to fold. Bend through the front knee. Curl those back toes under this time. Lift up the back knee. Plant the palms. Step the left foot back to a nice strong plank pose. Shift forward into Chaturanga, your version. Here with me, lifting up for upward facing dog. And we will all meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, nice big breath. Fill up the stomach, exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale, lift up the right leg, point the toes. 
Exhale, knee to chest, shift forward, and then bring your knee to your left elbow. Shift it back to three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, shifting it back, three-legged dog. And last time, knee to left elbow, flex, <laughs> bring the right leg out, turn, and come to your fallen triangle. Now gently set the hips down onto the ground. Come, face your torso forward, <laughs> and fold down. No need to have a super wide-legged fold here because we will be moving. Just for a moment. Flex through both feet. And then come up. Take your right hand, sweep it around. Left hand comes behind you. Plant it into the ground. Lift up the hips. Open up the chest. And then gently set the hips down. Let's switch to the other side. Sweeping the left hand. Right hand comes behind you where it was. Keep it on the mat though. And lift up the hips. Open up through the heart. Now see if you can shift back to that fallen triangle. Left hand comes straight up. And then exhale, plant it down into the mat. Turn the pinky toe edge of your left foot, stack the feet, come up to a side plank on the left side. Lifting up the right arm to the sky. Lift up the hips. And then if wild thing is in your practice, go ahead and take it. And come back around to Chaturanga, your version. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, down. Two upward facing. And all meeting in downward facing dog. Great job. Take a couple deep breaths here. And then let's take it to the other side. Inhale, lift up the left leg, point the toes. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Then take it back, three-legged dog. Push it forward. Back to three-legged. Inhale, then exhale, knee to right elbow. Straighten through the leg. Come to your fallen triangle. And then gently sit the hips down. Come to fold forward in your wide-legged fold. And then Sweep the left hand, bring it to the right foot, and then up around, plant the right hand, lift up the hips, open the heart, set the hips back down, sweep it back around, plant the left hand behind you, lift up the hips, open up through the heart, and then see if you can find your fallen triangle again. Exhale, plant the right palm on the mat, and then spin to the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Inhale, lift up the left hand for a side plank. Lift up the hips, don't get lazy. And then take your wild thing. Open up the heart. Plant the left hand, and chaturanga. Inhaling on the up dog, meeting me in downward facing dog. Oh, 
Come here. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee to chest. First, shift forward. Flex through that front foot. Step it right in between the hands. Lift up on an inhale to high lunge or crescent. Then bring both arms out in front of you. Just like our low lunge, let's take the right arm underneath the left. Lift up the elbows. Nice energy in the back leg. Bend through the front knee. And then release. Open up the arms. Slight back bend. Bring both hands out in front of you. Come to a prayer at your heart. Lean forward. Bring your weight into your front foot. Warrior three. Lift up the back leg. Breathe. And then bend the knee, bend the back knee to come right behind the front. First, little Shiva squat, point the toes. Straighten that back leg so that it's coming to the right side of your mat. And then sweep the back leg out around to the side. Plant that foot and squat down into a little Malasana Yogi squat. Now let's not get lazy in this position either. Let's all place a little lift in our pelvic floor. Try to keep a nice long spine. Using the elbows to press your knees out wide or just taking your fingertips out in front of you. And then uh, maybe lift up the hips a little bit first. Place your right hand to the outside of your right foot and then step that right foot back. So now we're in a little lizard. And then drop the knee, uncurl the toes, come down to forearms. If you would like to take it a little bit deeper. Press yourself up, plant the right palm. Inhale, sweep the left hand out behind you. Lift up the back foot, grab a hold of it. Uh, one more inhale just to open up the shoulders first and then exhale, draw that foot in. And gently release. Come back to the front. Let's heel toe our foot in between our hands first so that we're in a low lunge position. And then let's shift back, hips back over the back knee. Come into that half split that we were in earlier. So flexing that front foot, straightening the leg as much as possible. But if you do have a little bend in the knee, that's totally normal. Over time, you'll slowly begin to create space here. So if you need to bend the knee, that's okay too. Exhale, fold. Come back up. If you want to take a full split here, feel free. And if not, um, stay in this half split position. So using this as an opportunity to maybe challenge ourselves a little bit. You can always bring your blocks. And then press yourself up. If you are in the split with me, come back to that half split first, then bend through the front knee. We'll all meet. Lift up the back, <laughs> and you can just step it back. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Try to keep it strong in these down, down dogs as well. Ears in line with biceps, pressing the chest towards the thighs. You can keep a little bend in the knees if needed. 
and strong arms. Inhale, lift up the left foot, point the toes. Exhale, knee to chest, shift the shoulders forward, flex through that front foot, front foot, <laughs> step it through. Inhale, come to a high lunge. So if you always need to shift in these positions, try to do so with the back foot. It's just a little bit easier if you need to take it wider or shorter in your stance. And then bring both arms out in front of you. Take the left under the right. Elbows come a little bit up. Energy goes through the back leg. And then release. Open up the arms and the chest. Exhale, sweep the hands out in front. Palms touch, prayer hands to heart. Bring uh, your, shift your weight into your front foot and then slowly rise up to a warrior three. Lift up the back leg. Try to keep the hips stable here. And then bend both knees, really bend the back knee to come behind the right or the left, <laughs> my bad, and straighten that back leg, pointing the toes, sweeping it out behind you and then to the side, squat down into your yogi squat. Little lift in the hips, hands can stay at prayer, at the heart, pressing the elbows out wide. And then take your fingertips to the floor, lift up the hips just a little bit, take the left hand to the outside of the left foot, and then step that left foot back. Come to lizard. Stay in active lizard first. Keeping the hips lifted, the knee lifted. Sink the hips down a little bit. And then drop the knee, uncurl the toes. Coming to forearms if you would like to. Gently press yourself up, plant the left hand, sweep the right out behind you, lift up the back foot, see if you can grab a hold of it. Inhale to open up the shoulder, open up the chest towards the sky first, and then exhale, bring that foot in. Gently release, come forward, heel toe, that right foot in between your hands to come into low lunge and then shift the hips back for half split. Remembering to keep your hips square to the front of the mat. Inhale, and then exhale, fold. Inhale to come back up. And then if you would like to take your split, if you did on the other side, you can take it here. If not, please stay in the half split. You can flex or point through the front foot. I find that flexing it gives me a little bit of a deeper stretch. And if you always need to readjust, you can curl those back toes under, lift up the hips and square them again before you set them back down.
and plant the palms wherever you're at. Bring the front leg back. And let's sit on our heels here. Come to a child's pose. Walk both hands forward. Lower the forehead to the ground. You did it. <laughs> and start to relax the breath. And let's cool it down. Use your hands to slowly press you up to seated first, and then swing those feet and legs out around in front of you. Bring the legs together, flex through both feet. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, fold it down. No need to touch your toes today. Wherever you're at is perfect. You want to bring your palms face up on either side of you. That is also very nice to take in these moments. With every inhale, maybe take the spine a little longer. And every exhale, folding a little bit deeper. Gently press yourself back up, bend through the knees, maybe scoot forward a little bit to come to the center of your mat, and then one vertebrae at a time, roll your back onto the mat. Adjust to where you are comfortable. Take the soles of the feet together like we did in the beginning of our practice and the knees out wide. You can place your left hand on your heart and your right on your stomach. Or palms face up to either side of you, if that's more comfortable. Maybe take this moment to close the eyes again. Just like the beginning of practice. Place your focus on your breath once again. Keeping it simple. Take the knees in, take the soles of the feet to the floor first. 
and bring both knees into the chest. Give them a little hug. And then take the left hand to guide them to the left side. Right hand comes palm face up to the other side of you. A recline twist. Really relax the shoulders, relax the face, the arms. And then bring both knees back to center, into the chest, one more hug, and use the right hand to guide them to the right side. Left hand comes palm face up, and you can place your gaze up towards the ceiling or to the left side. Feel free to close the eyes here as well. And relax. Bring both knees back into the chest. One more squeeze. And then send both legs out to either corner of your mat. Going to leave you here in Shavasana. Have a beautiful day. I hope that you enjoyed this fun full body, full body flow. And I will see you soon in the next one. Namaste. Thank you.